Hi Gemini, thanks for your support and being a subscriber and that you'll be able to find me again in the future. Well, here you are leading up to your birthday month and the month of May begins with the vibration of the full moon coming into play, which is on the 3rd. And these weeks before your birthday month is a time to get in touch with where you can trip yourself up in life, where you can be your own worst enemy, as they say. And the full moon is so strong, it's so powerful. The vibration is, I can do anything. Now, this is very good for your spiritual unfoldment in your intuitive sense. But one of the messages for you is to be healthy, to be emotionally, spiritually, physically Get in touch with that side where you know, I feel really strong, I feel really healthy. As we move through the month, so the Mars begins in Taurus, in that part of the chart behind you that is so significant about stirring things up where things in life are not necessarily in your best interest. And then on the 11th, it's going to go into your sign. But the month also begins with Gemini, the Venus and Gemini in your sign. And she's going to shift out of Gemini on the 7th into Cancer. And then four days later, Mars shifts into Gemini. So there's this juxtaposition that is goes back and forth about a lot of things being on your side, thinking about what you want. And of course, Mercury is in, in Gemini and will be going retrograde this whole month. So it's such an important month for you to figure out what, why you do what you do and what is next for you in life. When Venus goes into Gemini, there can be a sense of looking at your financial future. What is it that is going to make me safe versus what will make life interesting? That Gemini, I need, want, desire life to be interesting. I don't want to be bored. And the new moon in Taurus on the 18th will be that last push before the sun goes into Gemini because it's at the very end of the Taurus energy. It's the last push of understanding what is important to let go of that didn't happen, that didn't occur, that didn't manifest for your last birthday year and perhaps why it didn't. You know, what you could have done different, what worked, what didn't work, to get ready for the sun shifting into Gemini a couple of days later and the entrance into your birthday month, your uh, the collective birthday month for sun is in Gemini. Now, some of the times that will be more significant for than others during this this time frame during this month will be when the moon is in Gemini. And that's going to happen right after the, the new moon on the 18th. But you'll feel it the 19th and the 20th. Those are your days to take some effort and make some effort to get things done that are important to you. Then we move towards the end of the month with the Sun connected to Neptune, Mars connected to Neptune, Mercury connected to Neptune. And remember, Mercury goes retrograde the day of the new moon on the 18th. So this rethinking, but what is it? It's in Gemini. It's rethinking about yourself. So you can rethink your ideas, how you think of life, what's right for you and have this collective feeling of it's time to make some changes. However, the main message for you, Gemini, is not to feel that you have to have the answer. There's no one the answer. That the last week of May is more about being in possibilities. What are the possibilities? I don't necessarily have to figure it all out now, but just to imagine possibilities so I can shift into my next birthday year, being open to what's possible and not being limited. Thanks for listening and click the subscriber button so you can find me again.